The table above, I put it to the left here so that it all fits on this screen. The table above shows the results of a 2007 observational study that looked at the birthdays of the players on the amateur Canadian youth hockey championship team. Based on the results of the study, which of the following conclusions are valid? So we look at the different players. So this is player number nine, born on January 4th, 1988. Player number 16, born on January 10th, 1987. So we have the birthdays of all of the different players on the team. And we need to make, let's see, what, what are these conclusions talking about? There is an association between players being on the 2007 Amateur Canadian Youth Hockey Championship team and being born between January 1 and June 30th in their year in their year of birth. All right, so it looks like we're going to try to find some relationship, some association between when you're born and your odds of being on this team. So let's see, let's see. This are, there's no association between players being on between players being on the 2007 Amateur Canadian Youth Hockey Championship team and being born between January 1 and June 30th in their year of birth. Canadian hockey players born in 1987 are more likely to become professional hockey players than Canadian hockey players born in 1989. More players on the 2007 Amateur Canadian Youth Hockey Championship team were born in 1987 than any other year. So let's, let's actually, since we're talking about associations between when your birthday was, whether it's in kind of the first half of the year, or what year it is, let's actually do a little bit of a... And look, everything is, they're not saying association between January and February. They're really talking about the first half of the year or comparing from one year to another. So actually, let's, let's, let me make a plot here. So I'll do a little bit of a, I'll, let me do a little histogram right over here. So let's see, we have people born as early as 1987 going all the way to 1989. So let's just talk about in the, the two halves of the year. So let's say, that this is first half, so this is you know kind of let's say one, one eighty seven to six eighty seven. So this is the people born in the first half of nineteen eighty seven. This would be seven eighty seven to twelve eighty seven. That's the people born in the second half of nineteen eighty seven. Then you have you have one eighty eight to 688, first half of 88. And then you have the second half of 88. So 788 to 1288. And then, I'm going off the screen here. Let's just go, because we do go all the way to 89. So then you have, then you have, you have 189. So January of 1989 through June of 89. So the first half of 89. And then the second half, 789 to 12. Whoops, to, to 12, to 12, 89. So let's see how many people there are at each of these. So in this first group, and I'm going to color code it, this first group right over here, first half of 1987, first half of 1987, player number 16 is January 87. This is January 87. This is March 87, so that counts. This is before June. Uh, this is, so let's see, we have one, two, three, four players. So I can maybe say one, two, three, four players. Now let's see, second half of 87. So let's see, out of the 87 folks, there's two folks in the second half. So one and two. Now, let, now let's look at 88. So first half of 88, there, there, there. There, uh, yep, those are, so there's one, two, three, four people born in the first half of 1988. Let's see, second half of 1988, it doesn't look like we have anybody. And then we just have one more person who's born in the first half of, one, born in the first half of 89. So March 89. So they're born in the first half of 89. So just looking like looking at this in 1987, you have disproportionately more people born in the first half of the year than the second half of the year, which wouldn't be true of the general population. The general population, I don't know the data for sure, but I would expect that it's more evenly distributed. We see in 88, everyone is born in 1988 was only born in the first half. 
And then in 89, we only have one data point, but they were born in the first half of the year. So let's look at this. Let's look at these choices. There is an association between players being on the 2007 Amateur Canadian Youth Hockey Championship team and being born between January 1 and June 30th in their year of birth. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like you, you know, they're dispro they have disproportionately many people born in the first half of the year. So I like this statement. We see that here. 87 disproportionate in the first half. 88 everyone's in the first half. 89 everyone's in the first half. There's no association between players being on the 2007 Amateur Canadian Youth Hockey Championship team and being born essentially in the first half of the year. Well, we just you can't pick both of these. Only one of these two are going to be true. Canadian hockey players born in 1987 are more likely to become professional hockey players than Canadian hockey players born in 1989. Well, we're not talking about professional hockey players. We're talking about the Youth Hockey Championship team. So I really wouldn't be in a mood to make any statement about the probability of people becoming professional hockey players. You might say, okay, if you're on the youth team, you're more likely to become professional. But once again, the only reason why you had more people in 87 than in 89 is that we're looking at the championship team for a particular year. And in a particular year, of course, you're going to have more folks from in, in the older years than, in the, than the folks who are younger. But then the championship uh, team in two years is going to have a bunch of people from 89 as these people mature. And we definitely can't say anything about, and that's just the youth championship team. We're not saying anything about professional hockey players. More players on the 2007 Amateur Canadian, and actually, you know, we can, let's see, more players on the 2007 Amateur Canadian Youth Hockey Championship team were born in 1987 than any other year. Well, yeah, this data is literally for the 2007 Amateur Canadian Youth Hockey Championship team. And we do indeed see that more folks were born in 1987, six folks were born in 1987, than the four in 1988 and, and the one in 1989. And so I think that is a fair, this right over here is a fair statement. And this is just for the 2007 team, and it'll change for the 2008 team and the, and the 2009 team. And so I like one and four, and they have a choice that is one and four.